All right, survival enthusiasts, let's dive right into the nitty-gritty of surviving during and after a war. First up, basic first aid and trauma care. Knowing how to treat injuries like cuts, burns, broken bones, or gunshot wounds can literally be the difference between life and death. So, get some training and pack a solid first aid kit. Next, navigation and orienteering. Forget GPS. Learn how to read maps and use a compass. Trust me, getting lost in a war zone is not on anyone's bucket list. Self-defense and combat training is also a must. Hand-to-hand -hand combat and basic weapons training can save your life. Think of it as your daily workout, but with a bit more kick. Resourcefulness and improvisation. This is where your inner MacGyver comes out. Use what's around you to create shelter, tools, or even weapons. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Stealth and evasion. Be the ninja you always wanted to be. Moving quietly and evading detection can keep you off the enemy's radar. Firearm safety and marksmanship. If you're in a conflict zone, knowing how to handle a firearm safely and effectively is essential. Safety first, folks. Psychological resilience. War is mentally taxing. Developing mental toughness and coping mechanisms is crucial. Remember, the strongest weapon is a resilient mind. Now, on to surviving after the war. Basic survival skills like finding water, foraging for food, and building shelters are crucial when infrastructure is down. Bartering and negotiation can become your new currency. Knowing how to trade goods and services is a game changer. Agriculture and food preservation. Growing your own food and preserving it can keep you nourished in times of scarcity. It's time to unleash your inner farmer. Sanitation and disease prevention. Maintaining hygiene and creating makeshift sanitation systems is vital to avoid disease outbreaks. Stay clean, stay healthy. Reconstruction skills are also valuable. Knowing how to build structures, fix machinery, and maintain infrastructure helps rebuild communities. Lastly, emotional healing and support. Addressing trauma and rebuilding relationships is essential for long-term recovery. Don't bottle it up, seek support. So, there you have it. Essential skills you need to survive during and after a war. Stay safe, stay strong. See you in the next video.